Hey, so what's up guys, Peter with Droid Tech. If you have been following me on Insta, you will probably know that I actually just did an event for Element Case and BMW last weekend. And it was really an awesome experience working together with them, being their videographer and so on and so forth. But on top of that, I've actually been able to get my hands on something really unique. This case is by Element Case and it's called the Black Ops, which is right here in my hand. This case carries on the legacy of element case which in the past have made excellent cases not just your ordinary affair cases tpu cases you know polycarbonate or maybe even hybrid cases but the cases are really unique because of the materials which it is made from so i'll be showing you that in a couple of seconds but without further ado let me show you what comes in the box before i go through the unboxing and talking more about element case and also the case which i have right here i would like to give a big shout out to element case malaysia for sending out uh, you need to review this is not a paid review as usual i don't get paid to do any of this but i do get to experience using the product which i'm really excited and really stoked about because this case reminds me of all the previous cases which i used to use for my iphone 4 until my iphone 5s element case has been around since the iphone 4 days if you guys remember iphone 4 had the antenna gate issue so actually apple made bumpers to actually prevent the signal from dropping due to the contact of our hands with the stainless steel frame. So what this company did was they didn't just reinvent the bumper, they actually made their bumper cases out of special materials. In most cases, aluminum affects the signal of your device. I've tried many, many aluminum cases with my iPhone 4 all the way up to my 5S and they have all affected the signal. At least the cellular signal, the Wi-Fi signal and the Bluetooth even. But Element Case has been really special in their R&D and uh, they've really done their research and actually use materials that do not affect the signal of your phone while making their products luxurious at the same time. So I've been a fan of Element Case since the day they started in fact. So of course this case which I have right here is on the pricier side because of the luxurious materials which they use in the making of this case. But they do have entry level cases, something like UAG's cases but of course a lot better in terms of the drop protection and uh, the price is reasonable too so i'll be getting those in a later video right now let's crack into this and see what comes in the box you can see i've already installed the case on my phone so i'll be putting that to the side and i'll be telling you more about that later through this video so okay on the top you can see black ops for iphone 10 you can see the features of this case g10 reinforced backplate g10 is a material used in guns so you can expect it to be very durable, especially when you drop your phone. Okay, moving on, you can see CNC machined aluminum rails. That is the signature of Element Case. They have always made their cases from really, really good materials. You can see from here, it's premium materials, of course, at a premium price. And also, you can see there's also a drop shock body, which is actually a fusion of three different materials in their TPU case. Opening the side of the box, as you can see, the presentation is really excellent. So on the inside, you can see the features of this case. Drop shock body right here. Fast step buttons, which is actually very tactile buttons. CNC machine aluminum, which we saw outside, which is actually the sides of the case. G10 reinforced backplate, which I mentioned earlier. Okay, this pocket clip is something which you will probably use it and will probably not use it at the same time. Depends on what your needs are. So. I will talk about that later through this video. So you can see there's also a screw lock system which they call SLS and they also include a splash proof holster right here. Something which but the majority of us won't be using but it's good that they include that in the package and also it's military spec rugged. So let's open this compartment at the right side. You can see right on top here is installation instructions it's a pretty tedious install due to the 10 screws which are holding the frame in place but of course that means that your phone is going nowhere which is a good thing considering you're paying top dollar for a product like this so instruction manuals to the side okay this is something really unique you can see right here element case branding and inside is where you'll find your screwdriver as well as five additional screws so let me take out this screwdriver and show you. So as you can see on the screwdriver, there's also element case branding. And if you open the tip of the screwdriver, you can see 
your wrench right there to open the screws to install your phone in. Okay, let's see what do we have in the left compartment. So this is our holster right here. We have multiple compartments, as you can see. So you can probably put your phone in here as well as maybe your earphones or whatever you want to put inside. And also, you can see, belt clip right here. Okay, moving on to the last thing in the box is an element case sticker. So putting all of this to the side, let me focus on the phone itself, which I have right here. So as you can see, these materials are not plastic, not just regular TPU or polycarbonate. These are really high quality materials right here. That's the whole point you actually buy element case for is because their cases are unique. You, it's not something which you will just walk into an Apple store and just buy it off the shelf. But it's something which you actually have to be able to appreciate and that can only be done by actually physically holding it. Of course, you are just watching a video, but I suggest you to actually walk into a store and actually take a look at this case and take a feel of the materials used in constructing this case. So let me give you a tour around the case itself. So as you can see on the sides, you have your mute switch cut out as well as machined aluminum buttons which are red in color and uh, on the bottom cutouts for your microphone your speaker grill as well as your lightning port on the right hand side we have our elongated machined aluminum power button so taking a look at the back we actually have a cutout for our cameras so on the front you can see there are like small screws holding the frame in place so you will have to remove all the 10 screws in order to take your phone out or install your phone into this case which is kind of a chore but considering that you pay top dollar for a case like this you will want the ultimate protection for your device which is an iPhone 10 in this case so you can see I have a matching wallpaper right here if you do want to download this wallpaper I will link it in the description below so I think it really looks red with the case you can see that red accents all around the screen matching with the red button right here so I think it's really cool and also you can see the like symbol showing you where all the buttons are and what the buttons are used for so I think this is a pretty cool wallpaper to go along with this case okay so moving on to the materials so you can see this is G10 material and uh, this is actually a clip for your pocket so when you slide in your phone this will actually clip on to the edge of your pocket so that means it'll be easy for you to slide out your phone. But of course, I don't think I'll be using this kind of clip, but you might want to use it. So as you can see here, you're actually able to adjust this clip higher or lower depending on your preference. So you can customize that right there, or you can just take it off totally if you don't wish to use it. So you can see the case is really made of premium materials. You can see from the rail itself, it's not something which is soft and flexible. It's actually very tough, very hard material. Of course, it does add a little more weight to your device, but they give you what you're paying for, which is excellently machined materials, I should say. So, this case is definitely in my favorite list. So, okay, testing out the buttons, you can see the buttons are very easy to press. Very tactile. You can hear from the sound, I hope. Okay, so let me talk about what I think is the biggest feature of this case. Okay, normally with metal cases or cases with metal back plates, you are not able to charge your phone wirelessly. However, this case does stand out. I think that's the biggest feature because I use wireless chargers for my iPhone especially. So I think the ability to charge your phone through this metal back plate is amazing, I should say. Something which I've never seen in the market at all. I'll be showing you that in just a second, so stay tuned for that. But of course, I do have to take out this metal clip because this metal clip does affect wireless charging due to the nature that it adds extra thickness. So the wireless charging will not be able to pass through and reach the point on your device. So as you can see, all the screws are out and I'm able to remove the pocket clip from the case. Okay, so let me grab my wireless charger and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I'm back with my Mophie wireless charging pad right here. So let me put all this to the side because I don't want to lose any of the screws. Okay, so let's just start wireless charging. So I have it plugged in. So as you can see, it's actually charging. Let me show you that again. So imagine 
this case doesn't just focus on style and luxury but this case doesn't impede any of the functions of the device so which means that this company has actually put in much thought into the making of their product of course this case is not the highest model or the most expensive model which they have they have one more which is the katana series which i'll be trying to get my hands on in one of the future videos that case is absolutely off the charts it's handmade it's limited edition and it's really really hard to get i think element case is moving in the step to the right direction because in the past they actually used to make luxury products without much drop protection without much protection for a device at all besides scratch protection but now they are incorporating not only military standard drop protection in fact but also they are making their cases really unique so guys that's all for this video today i hope you like it if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and smash the thumbs up button so you can also follow me on instagram at droidtech underscore official and facebook at droidtech unbox i'll be posting sneak peeks of items which i get every now and then so thanks for watching take care guys and i'll see you in the next video